Welcome everyone to part 7 of my How to Play Hearts of Iron 4 tutorial series. We're going to be playing as the Japanese Empire, and I'm going to go quickly over the difference between states and provinces. And we're going to go over a few of the different map modes real quick. So I'm going to zoom in on a territory. Now you see we've got all our divisions littered about these rectangles, and we've got our navies and our naval bases. But if I click on this territory, let's say right here, you'll notice a large outline pops up and a tiny outline pops up. Now what are these? The big outline is called a state, the small outline is a province. So provinces are where individual battles go on, they're where our divisions are standing. As you can see this one is standing on the province of Tokyo. But you might also notice the state is called Kanto. And you'll see a state view popped up. The state view of Kanto. So what is a state view? Now all it is is it tells us who owns the state, in this case us, all the things that are built there, all our factories, infrastructure, land forts, any empty building slots, and it also tells us the resources and population and the resistance level of the state. Now, resistance level, all it is when you occupy enemy territory while you're still at war, there will be resistance of people trying to fight to gain independence once more, and they'll try to wreck all your factories and infrastructure. So try to keep that curbed, and I'll share you how you can do that later in the series. Another thing here is there's a button where you could drop a nuke here. Um, of course, we're not going to nuke our own territory. That's pretty dumb. But you'll see a terrain here. Now it says plains. Okay. And we'll see weather. Well, if we click to the left, you see it's a different terrain. What? This is the terrain of the individual province you've clicked on. Even though they're the same state, the state view shows the province terrain. Combat is affected by weather and terrain. As you can see, this mountain decreases attack and increases attrition. It really just all around screws up fighting. And if I find a forest somewhere on the map, let's see. Ah, uh, right up here. If I click on a forest, you see it increases, it decreases the attacking unit's power and it decreases their air support. So, terrain does play a huge feature in warfare. So, keep an eye on the different terrain you're going through before you commit to fighting there. Like one time, I'm going to give a quick example. I went into Brazil, I navally invaded them as the Netherlands with about 48 divisions loaded with medium tanks and mechanized infantry. I was still new to the game, so I didn't understand that these jungle, see jungle, these jungle provinces are bad for armored units. All of my units got bogged down, encircled, and destroyed by infantry who are superior in jungle environments. So watch out before you do something stupid with the, with the terrain in your divisions. So that is the state and province view. Now we're going to move on to the map modes. Now in the bottom right, we're just going to go on over the basic three and the search button. We're on the default map mode. This is where you see all the countries have their colors, and this is like the land map mode. When I click the sea map mode, you might notice that all of the sea states have been lit up, and all of our trade routes are shown, and you see our sea bases have been highlighted and expanded. So this is what you use when you're fighting in naval engagements. And then when we click air map, all of our air wings, which are groups of planes, um, and all of our air bases have been highlighted and expanded. And you notice all these territories on land, like this state here, is now part of a much larger air state. And when I click on it, you see the status of missions that are in that air state. So that should be it for map modes. And I'm going to finish off with the search button. So let's say you were playing as Japan and you wanted to invade the Christmas Islands, but you had no clue where they are. Because there are tiny islands everywhere all over this map. So we can click this search button. And we'll type in Christmas Island. And whoa, already we got a result. We'll click on it. And there it is. So that should be it for this episode. If you got any questions about states and provinces or the different map modes, leave them in the comments. If you have any corrections or concerns, do the same. So hope you'll have a nice week.